Hello and welcome to part 67 of Let's Play Danganronpa. You're saying my first instinct should have been to search for men's changing room? The victim, Fujisaki, is female. That's why I chose for women's changing room. Nothing more. That makes perfect sense to me. No, actually, it doesn't make sense. Then why don't you tell us? What doesn't make sense, Nagi? There's a glaring contradiction in what Togami just said. I just have to point it out. The non-stop debate is about to begin. New elements have been added. Would you like to see a tutorial? Obviously I would, because I've got no idea what these new elements are. Let's see. The new gameplay element being added this round is called Conversion. If you hold the triangle button while targeting a weak point, you can convert the, that weak point into ammunition. You can then fire the converted ammunition at another weak point. If you fire the converted ammunition or chamber something else, you will lose the converted ammo. However, you are free to convert the same weak point into ammunition as many times as you desire. If you don't think you can refute the hidden lie or contradiction using the ammunition in your cylinder, then by all means try converting someone's weak point and making use of it. And just when should you attempt a conversion? Why, that's up to you to figure out. To say the least, you will not be able to complete this debate without using your newfound ability. I wish you the best of luck, over and out. Well, I'm gonna need it, because I have no fucking clue what he was talking about. Which is usually not a good sign. I'm on a good file, too. You said before... <laughs> right? We didn't have time to go sightseeing, that's... I know what to do now. Her words clearly contradict contradict. As I've been saying, it doesn't make sense, but he would know something like that. Yeah, I... Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Oh, that's what that does. There we go. Got it. Fagami, you suck. Go and have your execution. Scar, 100 points. I still think what you're saying doesn't make sense, Togami. I mean, you shouldn't have known who the victim was before we found the body. So your claim that you chose the women's changing room because the victim was Fujisaki just doesn't hold up. I see. Nicely done. So Les looks so funny on the right there. Just like... Gormous. Excellent! I just got a massive pain in my side, god dang it. Whew, I'm gonna swim later, that's probably not a good sign. Um, excellent. Now we're getting somewhere. Makado Nayagi. But your allegations are still weak. You need more evidence. Huh? What's the matter? Is that all the evidence you have? I beg to differ. Go on, show it to me. What the? Why is he acting like this? He's egging me on, but why? He should be feeling cornered by now. But it's like, it's not even affecting him. Come on, you're not telling me you're through, are you? You have more evidence, I know you do. I'm pretty sure there is more evidence. It's hidden in the discussion we had earlier about the discrepancies between this murder and genocide of Sho's murders. Evidence that I killed her? Discrepancies between genocide of Sho's murders and this one. There's evidence there that Togami is the killer? What exactly is she talking about? Non-stop debate. That's what happened. Okay, okay. This is between murders? Want me to go back over them again? I kill with my handmade genocide scissors. Oh, uh, no, it's this. Ah, stop doing that. A rope, was it not? No, it wasn't. 
Yes, yes, it was indeed a rope. No, it wasn't. That rope seems rather fish and fishy. Yo, Tagami, where'd you get it? I've never seen... Yes, you have. Break. Perfect. 100%. Score. 100 points. I'm just that great, ladies and gentlemen. Don't quote me on that. Um, actually, you have seen it before, Togami. The rope being used to hang Fujisaki's body was really an extension cord. Huh? It was an extension cord? I saw you using that extension cord in the library, Togami. On top of that, after the murder, the extension cord had disappeared from the library. I refuse to believe that, as the person who had been using that cord, you missed that detail. And it could have only have been Togami who robbed the extension cord of the scene of the crime. I see, interesting. So, this is the answer you've settled on? After killing Chihiro Fujisaki in the women's changing room, I hung her body and wrote the bloody message. Make it look like genocide of show had done it. Does that about cover it? Again, it's like he's taunting me so, for some reason. Like he doesn't have anything to worry about. Wait, nothing to worry about? I ask you a question. Is that is that your answer? Yes, that's our answer. That's a fucking answer. You killed Fujisaki, you asshole. The opposite of the opposite of agreeing. That seems like a very plausible thing for you to do, Togami, after all your talk about being this being a game. Hey, uh, would you mind holding off for just a minute? I'd like to keep the discussion going for just a little just a little bit longer. What? Is that really necessary? We've already figured out who did it, dude. Maybe we have, but still, something about, something doesn't feel quite right. Doesn't feel right? And what would that be? They killed Shihiro Fujisaki in the women's changing room and then manipulated the crime scene. So it appears that this psychopathic homicidal maniac was responsible for the murder. What exactly doesn't seem right about that? Wait, is that really how it happened? No. Well, yes, that's where the body was found. Is Sagami really right in saying that? No, I don't think so. There's something obviously wrong with his claim. The crime scene! You said you killed Fujisaki in the women's changing room, Togami. But I'm not so sure about that. I think the murder might have taken place elsewhere. Unbelievable. You've let me down, Nagi. I thought you were going somewhere else with that, but god damn if I've, ever, if I've never been wrong before. She died in the women's changing room, there's no question about that. It couldn't possibly have happened anywhere else. Isn't it possible she was killed somewhere else? And then brought there? Along with the rest of the scene? You think the whole scene was moved? I suspect... I expect you have some evidence to back up that a claim like that. Yeah, that was the idea. Did I just throw him off balance? He's been so confident up to this point, but as soon as I mentioned the crime scene, maybe it never occurred to him that the murder could have taken place elsewhere. Hey, don't leave the rest of us behind, soldiers. What do you think? What do you mean she was murdered somewhere else? What's the hold up, Nagy? Got evidence showing she was killed somewhere else, then hurry up and present it. First piece of evidence suggesting the crime was committed somewhere else is the thing that was moved from the man's change room to the women's, and vice versa. Uh, Changing room posters. No, present. Dang it. The posters in the cha two changing rooms suggest the murder might have taken place in a different room. The posters are your evidence. The women's changing room, there is a poster of a busty supermodel. Doesn't that seem a bit strange? I mean, really, a poster of a female model in the women's changing room. She's not busty, she's busted for having some fake ass titties. On the other hand, the poster hanging in the men's changing room was a, of a boy band that's extremely popular with boys, with girls, Tornado. That too seems a bit out of place, wouldn't you think? So you're proposing the posters in the two changing rooms were switched. That's not all either. There's one other thing about the two rooms that doesn't add up. Isn't that right, Ogami? Find out what Ugami says to that. Join me for the next episode. It's on the top right.
the previous episode is on the top left. So, until then, folks. See ya.